Hello and welcome to one and all. In today's class, we will move on to the second SAQ, Scarcity Definition of Economics. Okay, so uh, SAQ 2, explain the scarcity definition of economics. Okay, I already mentioned in the previous uh, answer that you are supposed to mention the name of the economist, the name of the book, as well as the year of publication. So as far as this scarcity definition is concerned, so this definition was given by Lionel Robbins. Okay, so the introduction is the scarcity definition of economics was given by Sir Lionel Robbins through his book An Essay on the Nature and Significance of Economic Science in 1932. So the name of the economist is Sir Lionel Robbins. Name of the book is An Essay on Nature and Significance of Economic Science and the year of publication is 1932. Okay, now coming to the definition. According to Robbins, starting with inverted commas, Economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Okay, so I have again underlined the important words. See here, ends means wants. Okay, so what uh, then I think you can understand. So what does the definition say? It is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends that is wants and scarce means that means the resources are scarce and which have alternative uses and the resources also have alternative uses okay so based on this we can frame the features so the main features the first one human wants are unlimited this is the main feature of human want if one want is satisfied another want arises so one of the basic nature of human wants is they are unlimited okay so human wants wants by nature they are unlimited so automatically if one want is satisfied people want to have another another thing so the cycle keeps on rotating and then but what is the problem here second point means are scarce but the resources to satisfy these wants are limited so that means what our resources our money income are they uh, unlimited no they are not unlimited we have to earn our money income to satisfy our unlimited wants. So the means through which we have to satisfy our wants are limited. So and also the another problem is the third one alternative uses of means. That means for the means the resources or the our money income can be put into different uses either for this use or for another use. Okay. So that is the third point alternative uses of means these resources can also be put into alternative uses that is different uses for example a piece of land can be used either for the cultivation of wheat or for paddy so if you are having a limited money income if you are having a limited uh, resource this can be put for uh, use a or use b we cannot use for both the purposes because our means our money income is limited so that leads to the fourth problem the problem of choice hence man has to choose between more important and less important wants okay so which has which wants have have to be satisfied first which wants have to be postponed later and maybe sometimes some of the ones we cannot be satisfied at, uh, we, I mean we will not be able to satisfy at all so this is the uh, problem and economics as a science is bringing out this relationship between unlimited human wants and limited alternative uses of means okay so this is uh, economics according to Lionel Robbins does economics is a science of scarcity in choice so that is the conclusion thus according to Robbins economics is a science of scarcity and choice this definition of economics is considered to be superior than earlier wealth and welfare definitions of economics because of its universal application now why it is an universal application because everyone in the world each and every individual each and every government so everyone in the world is having the same problem of unlimited wants and limited alternative uses of means so economics as a subject how it provides the guideline to the governments how it provides the guideline to the various individuals how they can solve this problem of choice at least economics as a subject is concerned or dealing with this problem of unlimited human wants and limited alternative uses of means so since it is applicable to each and every 
one in the universe it is this definition of robbins is considered to be superior than earlier definitions of wealth and welfare given by adam smith and alfred marshall respectively okay so these are all the main features of scarcity definition of economics okay so i hope you have understood the answer if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment box otherwise please if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel so until my next class take care bye bye